Well, the island that we're on right now is now called Mount Desert Island, but uh, the Wabanaki people would have called it at one time Bezamkuk. And Bezamkuk was an intertribal gathering place for all Wabanaki nations, even other tribes outside of the Wabanaki Confederacy. So this was very much almost a Wabanaki vacation spot. So as uh, the Passamaquoddy people would have, would have said it at that time, one day in the summer of 1604, in June of 1604, this giant bird who we thought was our wind deity, a giant bird who flaps his wings to make the wind, began to swim up our river, up at Skudik, where we were uh, settled, which is now known as the St. Croix River. As this giant bird approached our villages, we realized the giant bird was actually built from wood and there were men riding it. But that expedition was the expedition of uh, Pierre Dugas, the Sir de Mont, uh, and on that boat was Samuel Champlain, who was the cartographer for the trip. Much of our information comes from Champlain's journal that he documented during that time. When the tourism industry really started to pick up on Mount Desert Island, people were coming here specifically to be able to interact with Wabanaki people. Uh, at that time, the West was still being one. Manifest destiny was very much the attitude of the time. So you could not go west of the Mississippi and safely interact with native people, whereas here, you could come, you could go to the Indian encampments all around Bar Harbor. You could meet Wabanaki people. You could buy crafts to take home. You could pay a Wabanaki person to take your children out in the birch bark canoe for the entire day, and they would come back knowing how to fish, how to paddle a canoe, how to get back in if they capsized out on the ocean and learn all of these skills that they would never learn in New York City or Boston or wherever they were from. So I do think that the spirit of Wabanaki people is a big reason why there is a draw here. And I think that's a big part of what we do at the Abbey Museum, because people do want to learn about the fact that we don't have a removal history, that we are so intimately connected to this place for thousands of generations.